there's always players on the defending side that, that are interesting. Um, candidly, shifting uh, defensively from the college game to the pro game is maybe a little less of a jump than, than being that creative player now where spaces are really tight and you have to come up with really precise uh, execution. Uh, your thinking has to be really sharp. Sometimes that, that sort of transformation from the college game to the professional game takes a little more time. But there are quality players in every position. Uh, it's a matter of whether they are going to, whether we believe they're going to really make that transition into the professional game. Because again, it's a very different game. The college game is very fast. There are substitutions that happen frequently, so the game never really settles down. It's maybe a little less tactical because always uh, the game is fast because players are always fresh through substitution. So there's always this pressing, fast-paced uh, idea to the game. Whereas in the professional game, there are very limited substitutions. The game has to settle down. You have to do a lot more thinking. Um, it's a lot more tactical in a ways. And, and so you, you're trying to find guys uh, in positions that you need. Um, sometimes you go with the best player, depending on how high your pick is, but sometimes you're just looking at the need and the guy that you think can help your team in a certain amount of time, uh, and they can make that transition from the college game to the professional game because it's not exactly uh, apples and apples.